Bless and good day, my beloved brothers and sisters, in Christ and outside the body of Christ. On this day, Saturday, in the month of June 2016, well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country, this little island country, of course, that is in the blue Caribbean Sea, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. Well, this will be part two in a series that I am, series of videos I will be making to put on YouTube, my YouTube account and the internet and the World Wide Web, concerning the late Dr. Jean Scott, who died about five years ago. Well, as I said earlier on in part one, but I'm saying it in part two and I have to repeat it in all the videos. The series of videos of the late Dr. Jane Scott, a PhD from Stanford University, from Glenville, California, from Faith Center, that I have learned quite a lot from the late Dr. Jane Scott. I'm not saying that he was 100% perfect, perfect. I'm not saying that everything that he thought was right, but I see him as a true teacher of God, having a little error mixed with the truth. And I know these errors that he had mixed with the truth, of course he was seeing it as seeing it in his eyes as the truth, but this was not the truth. Because he do not observe Saturday as a Sabbath. He say that was the Old Testament and that is abolished, right? Herbert W. Armstrong and the Worldwide Church of God and many Sabbath days, Sabbath Christians all over the world who observe Saturday as a Sabbath day. And but he see it as a he observes Sunday and seeing that as a spiritual rest. He was totally wrong in that era. And all those of, who are student of Dr. Jean Scott and currently student of Dr. Jean Scott, who was in who 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 was uh, who was taught by Dr. Jean Scott and for some reason who have left and still continue to listen to Dr. Jean Scott on the internet and continue to listen listen his current wife, Melissa Scott, and the, to the new members who, after the death of Jean, Dr. Jean Scott, have joined Faith Center and continue listening his beloved wife, currently now, Melissa Scott, by go listening to videos on, the, on, on, on YouTube or Twitter and other, other websites. Um, of course, being a member of Faith Center and being taught under her currently now, who are fortunate to pick up this video on the internet and the World Wide Web. Well, I am one of these Christian, way down in the West Indies, who have been following Dr. Jean Scott over the years. I'm not saying that everything that he teach at I accept, but he was a brilliant man of God, both physically and spiritually. Brothers and sisters, as I said, I just want to remind you all that this video will be a short 10 minutes video, brothers and sisters, because right now we are difficult. Um, right now I'm encountering a little problem on YouTube. I'm, I'm, not, I'm getting I'm content the public um the problem that I'm counting on YouTube um it's very difficult for me to upload a full half an hour video, much as a full hour video, so that's why I have re, I have re, re, um re, I have took the decision to record maybe ten minutes, twelve minutes, um perhaps fifteen minutes videos, brothers and, and sisters, so that what I will not be able to say in the full 10, 15 minutes. In a, what I will not be able to say in half an hour or a full hour, I will be able to make many parts of the 10 minute videos to complete the whole series, brothers and sisters. So bear with me, beloved in Christ and outside the body of Christ. As I said, Dr. Gene Scott, I have been listening to him for quite a year. I've learned tremendous and I know a lot of you out there all over the world who have listening on shortwave radio when the internet then came on stream as yet and i've learned quite a lot especially a lot of the old timers who have died and plus the current young generation now who are picking up dr gene scott still on shortwave radio and since the internet have have come about i've seen his videos peer record videos that is on the internet and by the watching the videos i'm learning more about um Dr. Jean Scott, the young generation, I say welcome and they will continue to know more about Dr. Jean Scott. Not only Dr. Jean Scott, I am not saying Dr. Jean Scott was the only true man of God, was the only true 
Bible preacher no in his time Herb the late Herbert W. Armstrong a famous world preacher from Glenville California was in the same time with Dr. Gene Scott both of them met and both of them is two apostles, two apostles of God. So not only Dr. Gene Scott I'm focusing on, I'm all over the world. It are, it are two men of God and two women of God, brothers and sisters. But Dr. Gene Scott, I know that he used to smoke a cigar. And for years he has been smoking a cigar. And because of that, a lot of people have been turned off. They want to say they want to have nothing to do with that man because he's smoking, he's setting a bad example. And we know the American soldier general say American surgeon general smoking is dangerous to your health. And we pray and hope that Dr. Gene Scott that see the light in that and he maybe the when he was coming on getting more older before he died, he does stop smoking, but unfortunately he didn't stop stop smoking. The late Castro, Fidel Castro of Cuba, he was a he was a deep in smoking cigars. But when in his older age, because of a cell problem, he stopped smoking. And I hope I pray that Dr. Gene Scott that do the same thing like the late Fidel Castro. But he didn't do that. Keep on smoking, smoking, smoking. But not because Dr. Gene Scott smoking a cigarette. God will not condemn him for that, brothers and sisters. He's still a true man of God, beloved in Christ and outside the body of Christ. But because of that, a lot of people was turned off um, because he's smoking his cigarette, especially on national TV and in his videos, right in the cathedral itself. He's smoking amongst the members. It wasn't say privately at home. No, in front of the members, he's smoking his cigars. And some people say he's showing disrespect. So they will interpret that he's showing disrespect. To the saints of God at a gather day, to the believers and especially the non-believers, first time attending faith center, see Dr. Gene Scott smoking. A lot of things will go through their mind. Is he a true man of God? How come he's smoking cigarettes? Do you know he is polluting his body? All these questions are flowing through their mind, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Because of that, that turn off a lot of people as i said this will be a 10 minutes video and i will not able to cover everything in this short video well once again this is your christian brother eric braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country trinidad and tobago way down in the west indies this little island country trinidad and tobago this wonderful country that is in the blue caribbean sea of course the land of my nativity and the land of my birth well brothers and sisters as i say i have quite a lot of speak about the Dr. Gene Scott when he was alive. I will not be able to say everything in this video. I just want to say all those who are fortunate to pick up this video um, in my own beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, throughout the Caribbean, North and Central America and South America and United States of America, which is Manasa and England, Ephraim, Sydney, Australia, Ephraim, Burlington, New Zealand, Ephraim, South Africa, and of course, United Kingdom, England, which is Ephraim. And of course, to all those in Western and Central Europe, in the Caucasus region, Russia, throughout Africa and Asia and the Middle East, I say welcome, brothers and sisters. So though all those who have accept Jesus Christ, continue to serve Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, or those who haven't accept Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, as as yet and saying well now is not the right time for me to accept Christ I have plenty of time on my hand on when I achieve that car when I achieve that prestige achievement whether house land car when I get married and settle down and have sons and daughters when I get my bachelor my MA degree my PhD my um and all these prestige achieve, achievement physically in this life and I'm comfortable and I'm settled down and I'm in a strong financial position or economic position that I will accept Jesus Christ brothers and sisters you do not know what happened when you are waiting till you achieve that in five years time or 20 years time you have set your goal to accomplish all these things you might die before that time and never achieve all these physical achievements 
and you do not accept Christ because behold now is the day of salvation if you hear his voice harden not your heart give your life to Jesus Christ repent of your sins get baptized look for a Bible believing church in your area that you are living that observe Saturday as a Sabbath day and go there and fellowship and live for Jesus Christ so that when he comes soon to establish his divine government kingdom of God upon the earth you will be with him in his everlasting eternal kingdom when he come to bring true peace and security to this world not only for the Jews and for the Arab nation to live in peace and love but for all mankind everywhere to live in peace love and truly brotherly and sisterly sisterly camaraderie in peace and love with one another amongst the human family only the government of God and Jesus Christ can bring about that so brothers and sisters so brothers and sisters already crossed 10 I already crossed 10 minutes in the short video I'm heading for 11 minutes so 12 minutes I just want to say that the peace of God be with me and with you brothers and sisters and with humanity mankind from this day forth and forevermore brothers and sisters so look out for video part 3 in this current series concerning the late Dr. Jean Scott see you all in the next video soon peace shalom in Jesus Christ in the holy name of Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior from this day forth and forevermore shalom peace see you all in the video Video 3, the third part in this series dealing with the late Dr. Gene Scott. See you all soon. Shalom, peace.